Was? Ich habe mich nicht so bewegt. Das ist ein Average Saint-Denis Sound. Ja, die Statue da. Ach so. Oh, lol. Ich habe voll Angst. Ich, hab... ich sehe nichts. Warte mal, was? Alles wegen Thomas. I'm coming. Achtung, Balken. Getting called a little bitch on a meal was something completely <laughs> normal. But getting called a little bitch from someone who's on a high tower, it hits different. I quit at school two times. I mean, I didn't quit it, but I... Before I begin my talk, I just want to give a quick... I don't think it should even be a warning. I just think it should be just advisable. I, I know the down, so I say it really correctly. So let me say it. So what I'm saying in this whole talk, or what I will say in the future, maybe not, maybe I do, I don't know. It's just my line of thought, just so I can note this down and get on with myself. I am getting on my shit, I am doing all my shit I do. I do all my shit that I have to do, even I do it all. I don't know if you do your shit, I don't care, I do mine. And this is not some type of I can't catch a break shit, because I know that people will just distance. So this is not this type of video where I will cry about my things. No, I'm not, no. I failed them because I really didn't give much attention to it and I had a conversation with a teacher once a couple of months ago and he told me that it had a reason that maybe I put in more effort into other things in life. But I think it was more of a moral injury that I had with myself. I think you call it a moral injury. I saw a YouTube video once today and this person said 
that you can still be a loser if you have a morning routine or do a ice dunk in the morning go do sports or do anything else but his reasoning was that you're still a loser is that you stray away from the stuff that you should be doing like checking your emails doing work studying but I think that's more um, I think that is just negative talk I think it's really just negative talk I think those people don't want to see you live they just want to see you suffer And people kept asking me how how I am now and how it is. Living life now and what the reasoning was that I switched school so many times. I had a strange encounter once with a person. And that person told me, like he remembered me just because of that, just because of that I switched school so many times. And I didn't know what I should have felt in that moment. Some people in their 30s call it a midlife crisis, but I don't think it's a midlife crisis. I don't think it's a midlife crisis when people change their course in life. I think the crisis is that they're... I think the crisis is the duration of what they were in. That was the crisis, not the switch change. The sole reason I, that was a fly, the sole reason I do this is because I think to organize my thoughts a little, not even a little, actually very much. And the second reason can be probably entertainment purposes for whoever who watches this. In this line of thinking, I think that's what I call the video, I'm talking about stuff, I'm not even, and, and I don't want to delve deeper into what I talk or what I have talked, I just want to tell a story, go into this very broadly, and sometimes dive deeper myself because everyone has a life to their own and if you want to hear a story from someone they first gotta dive themselves into that story or how are they supposed to even tell that story I don't f I don't know to end this video I want to do a quick breathing, not even quick, I should stop saying s To end this video, I'm going to do a breathing exercise. It's a coherence breathing exercise. I think it's, yeah. I think it should be five breaths every one minute, I think. I counted myself, I don't know how to explain it.
Thanks for doing a breathing exercise with me. I had a higher heart rate a moment ago. I do this to elevate my heart rate and probably my blood pressure. If that is even scientifically correct. But it helps me. Thank you.